Welcome to ITK Bar Camp. Today we're going to make an introduction to the use of the command line. We're going to do this in an Ubuntu Linux distribution and what you're going to see is very similar to what you will see in any other Linux distribution or even in, a, in the terminal in a Macintosh uh, computer. So when you open a terminal um, uh, you will be interacting with a, a shell. shell. The shell is a program that listens to the commands that you're typing and execute the command the commands that you are asking for. Uh, typically uh, you will see always a prompt. It's this uh, small symbol on the left of the screen and this is indicating that the, uh, the shell is waiting for you to type another command. If you just uh, use the enter key the, the prompt will just ask you again what do you want to do next, what do you want to do next. Um, so let's start with uh, clearing the screen. If you want to clear the screen you can use the clear command that erases the current content of the screen and brings up the cursor to the top uh, the top line of the, the terminal. Now if you're not sure what type of shell you're using, there are multiple shells out there and different uh, people and developers have different preferences about those shells. You can use the echo command and look at the environment variable called shell. The dollar symbol indicates that we're going to extract the value of that variable. Uh, so, so look at the content of that variable and that's what the echo command will do and it's going to print um, what is currently stored in that variable. Uh, what we see in this particular case is that we are using the bash shell. If you want to get additional information about the shell you can use the info command. Info is the command that will open the manual, the manual page or the man page of any other command. So if we do info bash this is going to open that man page. You can navigate through this page by using the page up, page down keys. And you will see all the options that you can use for this particular command. In order to get out of the man page, you can use the Q key. Just hit the Q and then you will be returned to the prompt in the command line or back to the terminal. Another very useful command that you will use very often is the date command. It displays the time. Typically shows you the time zone that you're using. Um, it displays both date and time. Uh, if you want again to use uh, get more information about the date command, you can use the info command and open the man page of date. You will see that there are other options that you can use. For example, you could ask the date command to print uh, the date using the universal time or UTC. So let's try that. You can see that the difference is now the time is being reported as uh, universal time. The pwd command will show you where you are located in the file system. So um, the file system is this tree-like structure where we have folders inside folders or directories inside directories, uh, what we call subdirectories, uh, in which we are organizing files. And this is essentially the, the logical organization of your hard drive. Uh, in this particular case we are, and uh, this is my username, um, typically users have a directory for themselves uh, under the home directory. So home and the username will always be um, the place where a particular user have uh, all the permissions to organize the files the way they want to do it. Uh, I have happened to create it here, have created here uh, this particular set of subdirectories. So PWD stands for print working directory, that means uh, the directory where I'm currently in. If I uh, want to go to the parent directory I will be in the um, the CXX directory. So this is the parent of this directory. And I could do this again, go to the next parent and do the print working directory. Now I'm here. Uh, so again the ITK Barcam sandbox is the parent of CXX. And if I do it again then I'm going to the, the source directory. I can come back to uh, the subdirectories by using ITK Barcam sandbox uh, CXX and command line and well, sorry we are back to where we started PWD. Another very useful command is uh, who am I? Uh, this command returns my username in this particular system. Mm, 
the username will depend on how the system administrator of this machine created your account. Uh, if you make the installation, usually you get asked for this username as the and during the process of uh, installing Linux. Mm. Why do you need to do this? Is because sometimes you may be logging into the system under different usernames. And if you are um, unsure about what username you, you use after typing a, a set of commands, or maybe you have been logging into multiple terminals using different usernames, and then who am I will answer that question for you. You can also use the who command in order to look at all the other users that are currently logged into the system. Um, the who command will give you a list per user. Um, the same user could be logged into the system multiple times, essentially opening multiple terminals. Uh, this is the case here, so I'm logged into the system four times, I have four terminals open. Uh, this is the username, uh, this is the type of terminal on, in which that user is logged in currently, and this is the time at which the user logged in into the system. Now there is a variation of the who command that will do who am I, so it's essentially the content of who but only for your current logging into the system. So this is um, telling me exactly what is the, um, the terminal in which I'm logged in, uh, username and the time. We can again uh, erase the screen with clear. And um, another very useful command is the list command. ls is the command that is going to list the files in your current working directory. So in my uh, working directory cxx command line, I happen to have these four files file 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, the ls command has many options. If you are curious about them, you can use the info command. Uh, to look at the man page of ls, there are many many options, it's a very powerful command that you will use all the time, so it's worth uh, to get familiar with it. A very common um, option in the ls command is the dash l option. Dash l means the long format. Um, when we use it alone, we get this. When we use it with dash l, we get extra information for each one of those files. This time they are in a vertical format. Uh, we have the file name, the last time at which uh, the file was modified, the size in bytes, and the username who owns this file, so the person who has, or the user who has uh, permissions to um, delete, modify, and read the file. Uh, this is a group um, that also addresses uh, permissions on how to read, change, or delete files. And those are uh, the details of those permissions that we are not going to navigate at this point. Now, other very common options in the ls command uh, are uh, to sort and to sort by a particular thing. So O means order and uh, T would mean order by time. So when we use this command we're going to have the files in the order in which they have been modified, so last time of modification. And typically you want to see this reverted, so we can add the R option. Um, because in this way we are going to see the files that was most recently modified that would be the file at the bottom. Um, the reason why you usually want this combination is that um, it is common that when you do use the ls command you have many files, more than what it fits in the screen, and after they scroll then you will only see the ones that are at the bottom. For example, uh, let me illustrate this with a directory that has many files, like the directory user bin. Uh, we do that and we put the, the L command. You see that there was a scrolling of many lines and we are left with what actually fits at the end in the screen. We could now add the options for saying the last file that was modified and we want to see it at the end. We can also sort by other things. We could sort by size. That happens to be the capital S command. Um, the Commands and options are case sensitive, so uh, when you when you type ls, it has to be lowercase ls, and the option capital S is different from the option lowercase s. In this case, it happens that the the capital S is the one that refers to the size of the files. So here we are sorting the files by their size. We are finding that uh, Inkscape is the largest file in the user bin directory. Now, if we wanted to uh, see the smallest file, then we remove the reversed, and we have that the smallest file is this one, it happens to be a, a special type of file, it's a symbolic link that we'll cover in another tutorial. 
Um, but what is important here is that we are saying that it's, it's a very small size. So we reverted the, the sorting um, by the use or the removal of the R option. So these are the most common commands that you will be using when interacting in the command line prompt. And that concludes our session for today. Thank you for listening.